Well, hello, my gig workers or my gig work users that known as the customers. I'm so glad all of you are here. It's just another video of ranting and enlightenment and uh, just a day in the life. So I'm finishing up my Starbucks Verona. There was a bag that was 50% off. I love how they do that. And it's still got like a year before you know, it expires. So yeah, I grabbed that. I was doing a triple yesterday morning. I'm just trying to dig out and it's just no matter what I do, I can't shake that 4.92 rating. So I, I love when a customer thinks that a four is like a B and they give that and they think it's okay. Please, 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 from one to four, you might as well just give us a one because it takes 100, 100 shopping orders, 100 to get rid of it. And in the meantime, we go into a new level that gets batches that pay less, that are more annoying, that have low to no tips. And so our income is cut a couple of different ways when we have four or less stars. So just reduce the tip, do whatever you can, but don't don't take the time to give a shopper a four star or lower rating, especially if what it is that you want isn't there. It's not their fault. It's a supply chain. Come with us, see what it's like to not have your aha or your bubbly or your spindrift grapefruit sparkling water it's not us i'm in the back in the with these pallets because i can now you know and i see that like these things don't exist so when you give a shopper a four 100 times i have to go to the store and shop before that four is removed you know how long it takes to remove 100 orders and that week that i got the two four stars and i already had one I don't know how long I'm working them off. So yesterday I took two triple batches. That's right, I, just anything to get out of it. And the first one had a lady that I had never met, but she's just so sweet, lives in a beautiful condo complex um, right near the water. You can smell the salt air, it's just beautiful. And finally we met because you know, the pandemic and I hadn't, I hadn't shopped for her in a couple of months. And so I had missed her. She's sweet. And so we finally met and she was chatty, chatty, chatty. And she's like a botanical architect. And, you know, I could tell by her condo that like she just knew the placement of plants and shrubs and flowers and, and Chotsky in the yard. I mean, it was just, it was beautiful. And so was she. And so it was delightful. And it was, she was the first of the triple and she said, well, come around back. And it's like, I can't, I got, I got, I got two more orders in the car, thankfully in their Belford thermal um, coolers. And so anyway, I had to move on, but she said, well, the next time you're coming out back and seeing some of my work and it's like, okay, okay. And she kind of had that look that I've gotten over the years from people. It's like, how, how come you're doing something like this when Shouldn't you be doing something more purposeful or something? It was kind of funny because, yeah, I'm just born to serve. I just love doing this. I'm a Virgo. I don't know if any of you believe in those sort of things, but all my life I've been a server and a bartender and working catering jobs and cleaning houses and delivering newspapers and all kinds of whatnot that is like born to serve. So yes, yes, if you're a customer and you think giving a four is just it's okay, your service was okay, but not five star like somebody that I had two weeks ago. Know that it punishes us it forever. I mean, if if you don't think having to do 300 orders to get rid of those three, four stars is gonna take me months, you know? So I did two triple batches and the first one was her and there were 40 items in the triple batch. And for me, that's quite doable, right? The second one, the second triple was 19 items. So like one item was for a lady and it's in assisted living where they provide the meals. So it was ginger ale, a 10 pack of the mini cans and a 12 pack of Poland spring eight ounces. 
and four Tate's chocolate chip cookies. That's the whole order. So, and the second one was equally the same. It was um, Entenmann's um, donuts, you know, the little round, um, like the munchkins powdered and a pound of ham and two gallons of milk. So the other, the other, um, the other shopper, the other customer was like 15 items. And it was, it was like the grandchild's coming for the week. It was the goober, um, peanut butter and grape jam, that swirly thing. It was go -Gurts. It was, um, it's just all kids stuff. It was, it was kind of cute. It's like, you got the little ones coming. So <clears throat> that was very easy peasy lemon squeezy too. So when I got up this morning, of course, you know, I went here because I was kind of excited to see if the 4.92 kind of went away, especially since I got that wonderful email about the January rating, right? Thank you. Thank you for removing that rating from January in July. <laughs> Instacart. There, there's something going on there because um, I needed help on the man whose grandchild, you know, in my imagination was coming because he ordered that little six pack, eight pack of all the different cereals, the sugar pops and the honey nut Cheerios and, you know, the sugary cereals, the little, little six packs. And when I went to camp, you'd take a knife and you you do like the capital I and you'd open it up and you'd add the milk and you could eat out of the box. It was so much fun. Talk about going back in time, huh? And so anyway, um, and so the guy helped me. Anyway, it was just a little, you know, typical Instacart thing where I couldn't refund something. It wouldn't let me and I needed him. And so anyway, they sent me this email and they were so sorry that that happened. And they hoped that Richard, my Instacart support person, took care of it for me and that it's, it's their intent to just take care of our needs. Where, where is this niceness coming from? I wanted to say, yeah, Richard was great. Now about the rating system. <laughs> but I figured, you know, another time. So anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens. And, you know, it's just another, just another day in paradise. So I did those six we little orders. Imagine if, if you did get $7 per batch like you would with a regular Instacart order. It almost would have been a decent morning. And then point pickup. I love how they do this. I don't know if if you do it, but the these cool guys run it. And they all sound like this under 30. We're going to do this. And I don't know. They just They just have an energy that I really, really like. So they contact me personally and they say, Sarah, We've got this point pickup at such and such. It's paying $25 and, and you're driving 0.3 miles to deliver it. Are you interested? Well, hell yeah, I am. So I accepted that 25 bucks, right? I get there and, um, you know, pick it up. It's three bags and a case of water. I drive 0.3 miles to deliver it, make the 25, but I'm having trouble completing it because it's that one store where I had to go outside three times just to get the connection back, and then there was no GPS. It must be a gully for um, satellites or something because it happened again. And so I had to call, I had to call the dudes and tell them. And his name was Jeff. And at that point, they're interviewing a man named Jeff who's running for select person in that town. And I grew up in that town, and I grew up with this guy. In fact, his cousin was. Um, one of my bridesmaids when I got married. Just talk about going back, huh? And um, and then, so his name was Jeff. I was listening to a Jeff, and my son's name is Jeff. And I said, things in threes. And he goes, well, it should be a great day. So he was able to fix my GPS and get me out of that and complete the delivery. But that was the fastest $25 I ever made. Thank you, gig work goddess, right? When you get one of those, it kind of makes up for all the other. So at that point, I just called it a day because it was cloudy. And so that meant that it was bumper to bumper to bumper to bumper traffic all the way home. And um, it was, this all happened on a Sunday. And so 
as I record this. And so we do the big green egg on Sunday. So I wanted to get home because I made um, spare ribs and um, sirloin steak, ribeye steak, T-bone steak, and then vegetables. And we do that all in the big green egg and it kind of like lasts the whole week. It's fabulous, I'm telling you. And, um, and I went to BJ's and stocked up on all my veggies because I'm a veggie hound. And um, it was great. I was hoping that a, that a BJ's order came in for like, you know, 10 to 12 items going like five miles, paying $25 to really round out the day so I could do my veggie shopping for myself while I shop for this other person because I love going to BJ's. And so, yeah, it was, it was a good day. And I got a good schedule for this week. I'm cashiering today for five hours, which means I'm Ubering in the morning and I could even do an Instacart because they drop at 6 a.m. And then I've got two shopper shifts, two shopper shifts um, later in the week. So that's a nice, that's semi nice cushion for all the gig work. And last week um, I had a fabulous week and it was the most that I've ever made doing gig work. So <laughs> no complaints from me. So I'm gonna go have some more Cafe Verona by Starbucks and get ready for the day and go and do some, you know, gig work. And before I do some cashiering and life is good, I'm happy. I hope that everything's working out for you too. I'm still doing my dig out from 4.92 and I'll get there. I'll get there. Thanks, Instacart. Thanks, it's a great rating system. But if you're a customer, a four is not a B, okay? If you're like equating it with like, a, a, you know, an alphabetical grade, it's not. A four is like below zero. 100 times we have to go to the store and shop for people just to get rid of one four. And I got three fours. So I am like, yeah, thanks. It's not a B. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you here the next time on Instacart Pearls of Wisdom. This has been Sarah. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.